have you heard in terms of the international reaction? Well, look, outside America, I think with one voice, we've been, you know, extremely worried. And, and um, most business leaders I know have been extremely worried. Um, uh, they, they, um, and, and worried about <coughs> specific issues. I mean, like, you know, universal health care is something that uh, should be a right for, for citizens of the world. And, you know, we're campaigning in, in many countries that don't have universal health care to help them introduce it. And uh, the universal health care system in America was not perfect. I think it would have got better and better and better. But to abolish it I mean, is going to mean uh, millions of people going to suffer in the States, um, you know, poor, poor people. People will die. People will, you know, have uh, you know, the misery will come back to what, what happened before. Um, and so much better if, if Donald Trump goes in there and says, OK, it wasn't a perfect system, let's not abolish it, but let's, you know, let's get some business people in to make sure that it... it, it, it but he has a different mandate, from Richard, right? Wanted, yeah. Yeah, right, I mean, that's the <coughs> point, is that this election uh, was on one level kind of like classic proletariat revolt kind of like what you saw in the UK with Brexit. You've been an outspoken critic of the Brexit movement, but it was people saying, we see the direction you all want us to go, we don't like it, and yeah, now think, this I man has want, a mandate. I think they want to change. I don't, I mean, these, these people who voted for Donald Trump are the very people going to suffer um, if you don't have a universal health care system. These people are going to be the very people going to suffer if Donald Trump looks after the wealthy and uh, doesn't, you know, doesn't tax the, the 1%. Um, uh, so, you know, in, in, unless Donald Trump actually, um, you know, changes what he said, uh, you know, uh, in to get elected and, and actually, uh, you know, goes out there and tries to look after the working class person. I mean, he, you know, he's talking about let's, let's reopen the coal mines. <clears throat> let's people put people back down in, 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 into digging coal. So much better if those people were um, creating a clean energy revolution, you know, pushing forward with solar, with wind power with wave power, with new, new innovations to power this country with clean energy, that would keep the price of energy down and it would create hundreds of thousands of jobs in, in industries that would benefit, benefit America and benefit the world. Um, and, I, you know, and so I just would, would beg, of, beg him and his new administration just to, um, you know, to realize that most business leaders in America want to work with him, want to help him uh, do these things, um, not to get you know, completely entrenched in something, in, in, in some of the things you said in the election, which I think would be very damaging.